Shooting and gun dogs fill a very large part of my life. I enjoy every single aspect of shooting, but the one that I enjoy the most is a day's rough shooting over my spaniels. To me, rough shooting is as near as I'm likely to get to the most enjoyable way of spending a day. I like to share it with some like-minded friends because after all, any pleasure is better shared. But what I also like is the fact that we're working away with our dogs, there's no beaters, no pickers up, no other help, we make the most of all the rough corners. And I always think, for me, it's as near as I'm likely to get to the traditional hunter. In the day and age that we live, we can't obviously uh, just live as a hunter-gabbler, but what I do like is to go out and I can work my dogs, everything I shoot is a retrieve for a dog, and I prefer that the dog might have hunted it up first, because that's as near as the natural way that we'll ever get. I think that, uh, for me, I can spend an hour or two, we might only shoot a rabbit here, pheasant there, woodcock, perhaps even a snipe, and that is a day's enjoyment with the minimum interference with the environment and the minimum exposure to danger to any form of, uh, of species that we might shoot, any quarry. It is. Now, how long since we were tempted though, Barry? <laughs> You get somewhere where if something gets up, you can shoot it, like it would if you or me. Off the ground, you die. You fly, you die. That's if Anna don't get there first. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Well, get on. Good girl, Anna. Good girl. Well done, Anna. Good girl. Good girl. Well done, Anna. Good girl. Good girl. Get on, Vass, get on. Vass, get on, get on. Sit up, sit up. Sass, come on, Sass. Sass. Sit down. Good girl. Sit down. Come on, Sass. Sit down. Here. Come here. Sass, get on. On, get on. On, get on, Sass. Get on. Get on, Sass. Get on. Get on, Sass. Get on. Get on. Get on, Vas. Get on. Get on. Get on. Oh, no. That dog's got it up the hill. Right up the hill. He took it up that ditch. What's that max on it? Feel. Yeah. I thought it was Steve Fox. Well, I was sure. I was. I was sure it was. Where's the camera now?
Good lad. Come on, Rally. 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 Come on, up. And there's one going back here. Wake up. Rowley, gone away. Gone away. Good boy, gone away, Rowley. Good boy, get up. Gone away. Rowley, gone away. Good boy. Rowley, gone away. Gone away, Rowley. Good boy. Gone away, Rowley. Gone away. Rowley. Now we'll see whether he can take a line. Now, is that how it's meant to be done or not? If we don't eat it. Lad. Good lad, really, really. Good boy, really. Good boy, good lad. Good boy, yeah, the good boy, yeah, the lad. Good boy. Here. Come here, Rowley, here. Listen to me. Come here. Come here. Dash, come on, me. Dash. Dash, dash, dash. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, me. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you very much to Barry and to Sam, Anna and Ronnie. These dogs, the two youngsters, have improved to me considerably during the day. Out into the big wide world, practical working experience with people where I, if I'm on my own, they've only got me, the person that they think is on the highest pedestal ever. They get out with someone else, they're worried to death. The only way we can put miles on the clock is by taking them out into public and letting them do the job there. Thank you very much for having us. We've had a lovely day and I hope that you haven't had too much bother putting up with us at the pedantic way that we work to train our dogs. That's very kind of you, thank you. Absolute pleasure, Edwards. Come on in. Pleasure to be in your company. And with your thank you very much. Come on.